Welcome back to the CMP podcast. We had an incredible episode of Jujutsu Kaisen from a Yu Yu Hakusho reference to the uh, beautiful fight, kind of, not really even a fight at that point, right? Just Gojo getting high and going crazy. So we absolutely have to. He was high. He was high. He was high. He was high. Death high right there. Yeah, that dude was, that dude was, that was his own blood, bro. He was high. You didn't think it was high? No. He was literally floating in the air, bro. He was like, he was Both giggling. Figuratively, he was figuratively and literally. High. Figuratively, yes. And oh, and literally. <laughs> yeah. Wait, then which one are, which <laughs> one are you arguing against? <laughs> and literally, yes. But which chemically, no. I mean, and, he, he both of them confirmed it. Like Toji was like, he's high, and then he was like, Yeah, I'm high. Yeah, he literally said he was high. All right, yeah, we get a nice little view of him right there through the gut as well. But <clears throat> really, really good episode. We're gonna get right into it. What do you guys think about it down below? And uh, yeah, sub to the channel if y'all are new. This is CMP Podcast. We do this every single week. So, I mean, we start off, obviously, right? We got, we got um, Toji fighting um, Ghetto. And again, the Yu Yu Hakusho reference was so sick. The spirit gun was so sick. I did not expect to see that in this. But then again, we've already had a Digimon reference. Recently. Before we even get there, let's, let's, let's talk about the fact that they reanimated the entire death scene. Yeah. Like from a yeah. different angle. Like that yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah. Like no nobody ever does that. If they're doing a recap, they just show the thing over and over again. But they reanimated yeah, they the entire that. thing and that was sick. If they reanimated? I don't I didn't even notice. Yeah, it was from a different yeah, yeah. It was. It was from a different angle. Um I actually like like I, I will say that sometimes they do that, but that's literally like in a five hundred episode recap when they're doing a, a special episode, right? This is just episode four of the current season. So yeah, I, I yeah. agree with you. That was that was a really. really it's the great. very next episode. Yeah, literally, like, literally, 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 just put the the same clip, and nobody, most people wouldn't even care. They wouldn't even notice. For them, to take the time to, because it was such an important moment to reanimate it. Yeah. So they really care about this. Would have yeah. lost it if it was a Yamcha pose this time, though. I would have absolutely <laughs> lost it if it was a Yamcha death pose. I feel like that would have been crazy to go. That would have been but crazy. I um. <laughs> This episode was interesting, right? Because like I, I before even the Gojo fight, I, I like the I like the first fight. I really like the first yeah. fight because obviously you don't, you see him let loose of his anger and um like the, the dragon he kept summoning. How I, like literally looking at him when he's like this guy's always calm, right? This guy's always calm. Look at him looking through the door, just looking through the door, pissed off. Where are you? Where are you right now? I will fight. Like he looks like just a. Uh, uh, just a straight up, he's, he's mad, right? He's mad. Obviously, mm-hmm. he lost everything. You see in his arms, he did the Arthur, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the Arthur <laughs> fist pump. Yeah, Arthur <laughs> fist <laughs> off. Like, like, there's so much, so many references this is, here to this great is giving, culture. Uh, this is given for me. This is, uh, what is that? Which show is, oh, damn, I can't think of it. Jack Nicholson. Uh, uh, oh, the yeah. Shining. That's what it is. Yeah. Yes, 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 oh, yes. Where's Johnny? Yes. Here's, yeah, Johnny. Johnny. Here's Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Here's Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, like we definitely are making something out of what it's not, but there are definitely some references here for sure. What we talked about, right? The Yu Hawk show, dead, dead on. But the spirit gun, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like it, he literally did spirit gun. Yeah, it, it was it was so sick. I um, I really enjoyed the fight. I like I like seeing uh, him push through. Well, it looked like it actually looked like it would have gone either way. I felt like the dude was dodging everything, but I feel like he was in a good position. And obviously, he went there to uh, the girl that got summoned. I was actually like semi like creeped out as well. The ghost demon. Oh yeah. yeah, that was that was very that was that was actually very scary for a half a second because I was laying down in bed while I was watching this and I was tired and it was dark and out of nowhere like everything just got spooky and yeah. scary and I was this like, woman started talking with some scissors or cutting yeah. his ear cut his ear dude. One of the things that I really loved about this is that Toji was talking about how he was like hiding himself through the weapon. Through the through his cursed object, yeah. and you can see that visually from him, like going in and out of the walls, and like they're both like he he can see him and then he can't see him. You can see him and then he can't see him. Mm-hmm. And it's like mm-hmm. it's like perfectly describing how oh I can hide because I'm an invisible man, but I can't do it with this cursed object. So what I did with the cursed object is I made it really small, and like right. he he's just describing it. And it's like I really like the visual aspect of that as well as him actually being an invisible man. I like I also, I, yeah, I also, I just really like how he showed us how he got in, in general. Like, yeah, because that was also something I was worrying about. Like, I didn't say anything because it's anime, right? But I really like the fact that he, uh, he really showed us. Also, I love the fact that we saw Ghetto, like, um, basically 
it looked like he was about to absorb his stuff, right? And then Insta sliced. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I figured. The, yeah. what, what did you What did you kind of expect would happen? You put your hand out versus a sword user. <laughs> like he still has the, he still has a sword in his hand, type of thing, right? Like he's still he's not useless. So I don't know. But it was a nice it was a nice combo attempt because he tried to use yeah. the spooky lady, and use the time that she was buying him to, you know, try and suck the the demon out of him. But it just didn't work out that way. Sometimes you know. Was there an explanation of why he couldn't absorb the the little guy, like the the Christine? Yeah, there, there was I, I um, just there was a connection. No, there was a connection between that and the curse user. Like it's like a father son connection, and you can't be you're not going to be able to break that unless you have something as strong as that. Because in the near the end of the episode, mm-hmm. you see that he's like mommy or something, right? The curse object says mommy to yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. So that that just goes to show that. Um, he thought of him as a dad and then ghetto as a mom or something. <laughs> okay, that makes a little bit more but, sense. Uh, but, I, but he literally was absorbing it, though. He just got, he legitimately just got interrupted. Though. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think it was an interruption because there's like sparks happening. As soon as he touched him, like it wasn't letting him do it. Like it was like, no, you can't do it. He even said the explanation afterwards. Hold on. Uh, no, actually, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It was, it was a deflection to have. You're right. You're completely right. Yeah. I don't get why it said mommy hug me though. He <laughs> <laughs> just thinks that. that at the it was at the end. Yeah, but what makes ghetto its mom? I Gary guess he has long guy. hair. He survived. Yeah. Uh, he survived where dad's dead. Like the the, the other thing that I really like is is that Jujutsu Kaisen kind of flips the script of like the protagonist and the antagonist. Because in typically in shonen animes, like it's always the antagonist that's like super uber powerful, and then the protagonist has to go through all these hoops and plan all this thing just to fight the antagonist. But here, Toji is the antagonist, and he has like 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 from the last episode, he has a ten step plan of how to beat everybody, and he's still going through that plan in this episode as well. Yeah, like this entire episode was in his perspective. Like we're following him, not following anyone else. Yeah. I love that sort of thing. Uh, when My Hero did the villain arc, oh, my yeah. villain Academia, that was one of my favorite. That was one of my favorite, uh, like mini arcs we had. Yeah, it actually made me care about the characters because I didn't care about any of the villains really. But then that entire arc made me like love twice. Uh, yeah, Toby was like, okay. Like villains being humanized too. Yeah, yeah. perspective, 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 perspective. As, as Mo would say, as Absalom would say. Yeah, it's all about perspective. Yeah. I, I loved how easy it was for them to like, you know, give the dead girl. Also, I thought it was freaking hilarious that the 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 weapon holder <laughs> swallowed her and just let her out. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes absolutely sense. But uh, I just thought that was pretty hilarious. Like seeing that the assassination, everything was fine. And then obviously, this is where we get to the good part, right? Like, do we? Is there really much else to talk about besides them separating from their ways? Because Gojo is about to pop out. I feel like that was the. Uh, yeah, that was. Like, we all knew he was alive. Like, first of all, it's a prequel. Yeah. We, we already knew he survived. But, like, the explanation was, like, pretty all right. Like, we already saw him struggle. And having him in that near-death experience and just, like, figuring out how... Uh, what the what color is it red? Works. Yeah, the, the reverse curse technique working was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, the math that I did not bother trying to understand was... The, the thing math. is, like, no, the they, 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 refer, they refer to that type of math throughout the entire no, first serious. season and this oh, season. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I just don't yeah. like I don't like trying to pretend to understand. I just yeah, like yeah. seeing them punch and kick and you know. To be, to be fair, like the like when Gojo does anything, it's like, come on, dude. Infinity, divergence, convergence, like all right, bro. We get it. Yeah. We we yeah, get it, bro. Explain it to me. Just do the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just look at them with your eyes. Cool. Yeah. Look at them with your damn eyes and you know, send them fly. Yeah, just I'll show me their, just I'll show me your beautiful eyes. You. Just show me your beautiful eyes, Gojo. True. Lay those blue, beautiful things on me. I mean, like, dude, Goji, uh, Gojo, well, wow, not Gojo. Um, Toji? Wow, why am I? Toji, Toji, thank you. To, uh, Toji was like blinded. I thought that was really funny too. Like, we saw the clouds split, the sun come out, him being blinded by the sun and Gojo being right there was hilarious. He's like, yeah, being crazy. Yeah, literally. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> he killed like, me, remember? Like, like one day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this whole, this whole Gojo scene is 
I mean, it's, it's very well done. It, it shows yeah. how, why, I guess this is the leading to why he eventually covers his eyes. Maybe there's too much power. In it. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I, yeah, I want to I want to learn more about that. Right, but I, I, I assume that this cool, is the catalyst bro. for it. I think he just, I think he just wants to look cool, bro. I'm gonna be completely honest. I was like, yeah, nah. I'm gonna cover my eyes, but let me, let me show. It's like Kakashi if he didn't wear his mask. He just, he, he doesn't have to wear his mask. Well, no, Kakashi asked him because the the Sharingan yeah, like Sharingan. weakens him. I'm not talking about his like, top part. I'm talking about the bottom part of his mask. Well, he always shows a kid. COVID still. Yeah, Come he's on. a ninja. Bro. COVID doesn't. It's not. It's not gone yet. It is. It's it's COVID's not gone. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're absolutely right. I like how he uh, showed his little like concussion thing on the, his little bump. Is like, yeah, you know, got cut through the throat, multiplied it negative, created a positive. Blood was flowing. And he said, I couldn't understand anything. The other guy said, he said he's high. That's all he said in reply. <laughs> <laughs> She's blabbing on and on. He's high. He's not making any sense. He's high. That's, That's the what he said. That's because he doesn't understand him. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't get it. He's never felt. See, this guy, all he has is the power that you know he has. He's been alive for what, thirty something, forty years. So he's probably already hit his peak. Him and his uh, ghost baby, they've been walking the earth, killing people for however long. Gojo though, he's what in this in this part, he's maybe teenager, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Nice like he's cool. still pretty young. He's just now getting the taste of what the power feels like that he's truly had this whole time. I'm sure if this guy went back in time to when he first got his power on and cracking, he was feeling a little, he was feeling himself a little much. He was going a little crazy. He was doing his Joker laugh, you know, having his fun. Everybody has their fun in their own ways. Gojo's fun is to let off a fucking red time bomb. (laughs) Purple. Bro, the fact that he struggled with it earlier and then just insta did it there and the guy was able to block, but obviously took a ton of damage. But that was cool. The, the fact that go, and then Gojo just floating in the air like he's in water. That's Not even saying, in man, water. Little ballerina stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was the second coming. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, one thing, one thing I rewatched uh, JJK season one and at the end of season one, uh, I think Megumi is fighting one of the three older brothers, the cursed yeah. brothers, the yeah. special grade one curses. Correct. Mm-hmm. And he uses domain expansion, and that's like a super level up for him. And then he kind of goes insane. Like he starts laughing and like looking a little goofy, kind of like how Gojo is right now. And uh-huh. it's, I like the connection that it makes because Gojo is the person who taught him something like that because he. Gojo was talking to him like there's a flashback and then Gojo was teaching him how to fight. Mm-hmm. And Gojo's the person who told him there's a difference between dying to win and risking death to win, which is like what Megumi was always about to do. Like he was always a self. Yeah, he's going to give up whatever mm-hmm. inner soul power he had. Yeah, he was self-sacrificing. Right. And then he kind of, Megumi kind of goes crazy with his power. And right now, Gojo's going crazy with his power. Kind of, I kind of like the connection there. I love that we got the uh, the one two three breakdown of his power, while well, this guy's like uh, making his nunchuck super nun- whatever it's called. It's not nunchucks, but that's the other thing that I can see. And the I love heavenly, that he was heavenly like, spear. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, he was like, something's off. While well, Ghost is just looking at him <laughs> with his eye, you're about to die. Oh, while he's singing, he's swinging his sword thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just yeah. says, <laughs> "I'll be fine." <laughs> Yeah, that's the biggest red flag. No, no, he, he, knew, he knew the whole time. He's like, something's off. I can feel it. Yeah, but then he, he said he was going to be No, because even at the end, he, he no, I, I don't think he, you're right. <laughs> he thought he would be fine until he realized, no, no, no. I don't know what I'm thinking. Something is wrong. Something's very wrong. Because he kept saying it the mm-hmm. whole time. Even when he died, he, he said it again. Something's wrong. Yeah, I, I like that uh, line when he dies. He's like, I twisted myself just to affirm myself. And I'm like, okay, yeah. That's, he's like, yeah, that's why I lost. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's a good analogy. Or not analogy, but like analysis. Man, one that's thing, a good excuse. One thing I don't understand is I thought that that I thought Toji was going to live a little bit longer because in season one, uh, Megumi talks about his dad like he's still alive doing whatever he wants. Maybe he doesn't know. 
yeah, you think Gojo also... told him? It was like, yo, I killed your dad. Actually, yeah, Gojo would he, say he, that. He would, he would say something like that, wouldn't he? he? Yeah, he would be like, yo. Wait, he talked I... about his dad in season one? Yeah, he yeah. said my, my dad is like off doing whatever he wants. I'm pretty sure he said that somewhere. I, I know uh, there's some mention of the dad because I do remember hearing about the dad before this. When he, when he, uh, when he became Buddha, when Gojo mm-hmm. became Buddha, I freaking lost it. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, like he was like, yeah, I'm not even mad about this. The world feels wonderful. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honor one, which is Buddha. Right. Yeah. And I also love this as well because I'm, uh, why well, I, I watched it and I'm reading it. But a uh, record of Ragnarok, which is where it's the, uh, which is a show on Netflix and an anime, uh, where it's the gods against humans. And Buddha actually fought, no spoiler, but Buddha fought for the humans instead of on the god side. And it was, it was just a, obviously it has nothing to do with actual reference, and I'm sure none of them watched each other. Maybe the people wrecking Ragnarok watched each other guys. And, but I just, I just like the, the uh, I know it's not a reference to that Buddha, it's a reference to the actual Buddha. But I just like that the, they kind of like fight the same in a sense too. Like, I'm the best. Um, I'm going to do this. This feels good. I'm going to do this. So I really like that. I like that he obviously took up the style. And obviously he, you know, he had his nice little. It's the whole point of him being like, yo, the, you think you, you thought you knew something. It keeps, it keeps going back to the something's off where this guy thought he knew what was going on. He thought he had an idea, but like Gojo pointed out, like you, you don't, the information you thought you had, you don't even, you don't even have a 10th of the real info. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then, yeah. I got the real secrets. And then Gojo ate the red and the. And the blue pill. And the blue pill. <laughs> it's like, and the, the purple pill. And the sprite. Straight up. So it was absolutely fire. Uh, yeah. I was absolutely fire. And it was a great moment. I'm still trying to figure out his mindset. Like he's like, he feels everything going around him, but he says he feels nothing. Like, I'm still trying to understand that. He just says the world like, like he's not fighting this out of anger or anything. He feels good. He feels like the, Peace. It's like the world is beautiful. It's a wonderful place. That's that's what Buddha did. Buddha let go of everything. Yeah, right? but what, I mean, but uh, at the end of the episode, he's like, "Should we just kill all these people?" Well, because he's yeah, not feeling. He's not. Yeah, because he ain't feeling like that no more. He's like, "Yo, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a damn murderer now." Wait, I'm confused. No what do you mean? You, you're confused about his mindset. What do you mean? Like he fe- like I I'm he feels everything going on right now, right? He understands the world. He understands everything. That's in that moment. No, no where'd you get that? When he's when he's going Buddha. That was in that moment though. That that after episode, the after part is not the same as him floating in the air, transcending doves flying, purple, right? Like it's just it's different. And this isn't uh if this isn't like him gaining all information. I think this is like him slowing down or moving through his infinity even greater him pushing the bounds of his infinity even further and slowing yeah. things down even greater or something like that it must it must be something like that some something with his infinity but i don't think it's him gaining knowledge or anything like that if that's what you mean no i get it i feel you there's definitely a change or evolution in his character though yeah like he's, he didn't look the same how he wasn't the same happy go lucky i'm gonna do this type of dude Right? I don't know, like, we see that later, like, or not later, but in season one where he is exactly that. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, this is his character development where he changes from that and then probably goes back to it after, right? After some something happens. I think that the dude died, whole in his, thing, you know, Crescent Moon style, and mm-hmm. then, like, still just standing there, and then it's like, yo, I have a kid. <laughs> Didn't tell him anything. I just wanted you to know. I got a kid. Yeah. Okay. Do whatever you want with that. I really think this is on par for uh, this whole ending, and I didn't see this originally. I I didn't. I like scrolled through the episode, and then saw there was an ending, and then watched it. Uh, um, but I think this is kind of on par for him to, to him to be, because he's he he is sensitive, right? Like in all the scenes that we see, like he he feels his emotions, and he's willing to snap and kill, like basically. At the drop of a hat, I think there was a scene. Uh, there was a scene where he did the same thing in season one with the old dude, and he was like, "I'll I'll go kill the old guy. I'll kill all the members of the upper society right now, and you guys won't do a fucking thing to me because I'm the greatest ever." 
Yeah. And then somebody had to calm him down and be like, no, chill, big bro. You don't have to do all that right now. It's okay. So there, he definitely still has that in him where I'm I think that's, that's I, yeah, I can, I'll, I'll snap and I'll murder everybody right now. I don't care. Don't make me take off this, this eye band. Nobody, no, I don't think, I don't think anybody told him not to do it. He was just explaining that what him killing them wouldn't matter because someone else would just replace them. He should have killed at them. the end of this episode. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought no, it was no, because no. there was normal people. There was like they weren't the higher ups. There was a normal. No, no. What, what, what I'm, t- I'm talking to Moet about him killing the old guy. Yeah, he's talking. Oh, about the old no, guy. nobody, nobody convinced him to kill them, n- not to kill him. He's he was just like, the, uh, the he was just going. Him. Yeah, he was just going through the thought process. If he kills him, then someone else is just going to replace him. So his idea is that he's going to train people to have his mentality. To replace those the, old oh, people. I thought the butler guy was there when he said that. You know the 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 not the butler the um the, the other driver. Teacher, yeah, the driver teacher dude. Yeah, no. he did, he wasn't there when he said that, and he said, "No, come on, don't do that." I don't think so. I think he just convinced him. He was just explaining the thought process and saying that it didn't really matter if he killed them or not. That could be true. But all he's the same point. My point. Yeah, is that he'll, yeah. He'll kill. He'll kill whenever. He, yeah. Okay, at the top of that. He's he's unhinged. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna look at the clip right now. Gojo threatens higher up. Fifty seven seconds. Dub. No, I'm trying to read. <laughs> and I like him asking Ghetto in the in the room and not just doing it. Yeah. That's that's I'm sure. And, that's and this and the scene and the scene at the end where it's like a parallel, literally a parallel, and then one one side is blue, one side is red. Yeah. Like the the. The direction that the that they're going in, right? It's it's so beautiful. Like every like visual of this episode was beautiful. Yeah, I agree. They, it was it was really so. I assume this kind of made me feel like this is gonna be. This was the wrap up of this, and that now we're going back to the present. But no, nah. I think there might be one more episode. Maybe maybe, maybe one more. One you more can't you them. can't you can't end it like this. There's there's got to be like one more of like how ghetto snaps. Oh, when he, and, when he threatened, one of the times where he threatened, just not the, not the, not the but one of the times where he threatened, he said to the old man, uh, you really think you'll be able to get away with this type of thing? I'll be the only one who fights you type of thing? Like, it's, what mm-hmm. the hell was that? Uh, sorry, I was just hearing like a short being played. I didn't even click on one. He was like, you really think I'm going to be the only one to do this? You're going to get hurt if we do that. That was the first time he threatened them. Then I'm, you're talking about when he was in the room with all of them, right, Chip? Yeah. I got to find that. I got about to rewatch that scene after the pod. But um, yeah, he's been yeah, like that. I, I, I don't think there's. I, I, there could be another episode of this, but I mean, what, I, else, I do think we, what else do they need to wrap up for? What else? What else do we need? Like, there's just one final thing that just makes go- ghetto change sides. Yeah, that's I what I like. think too. It's like, especially with like the whole mommy thing. I think it's going to be him like thinking about that little curse guy. I really feel like they already explained why he went crazy i could the, be wrong the, the thing is i don't think he's not really crazy though uh, what do you mean in my in my opinion in my opinion i, I feel like he's perspective okay perspective. yeah it's perspective well, let me hear I, what, I, what do you think he just he just changed sides he's like you know what these people tang sama like he was already like against tang sama from the jump like him and gojo yeah and you already got to say fuck Tank and Sama. And like Heavenly, what, what was the other anime we watched? Heaven, Hell's, Hell's, Hell's Paradise. Paradise. Uh, Hell's Paradise. He's Bro. got the strong week. He's got the strong week going on too. Strong week, strong week. Um, he might be like strong, strong week. <laughs> All right, I can see that. Yeah, he come on a little hard sometimes. Saying, fantastic episode. Amazing a episode. Lot. Mm-hmm. Like the past two episodes have been ten out of ten, and mm-hmm. I'm I might just read the manga. Oh, I might just mess around shoot. and read this manga. Oh shoot! Dang. Reading. Yeah. You won't uh, do math, still... but you'll read. Unlike, okay. unlike, unlike One Piece. Well, you don't read uh, One Piece. I do read One Piece, but every, every every time I read One Piece, I'm a hater. But if I'm if I'm reading this, I'm not I'm not being a hater. Mm. <laughs> I can be so hating on One Piece. Zalm, Zalm 100, since I think I really like Jujutsu Kaisen. But Zalm 100 this week, 
unfortunately not out yet it's gonna be it was delayed it comes out monday which i think is you know when we upload this obviously so we're not gonna have it for this episode um but i did want to talk about one thing damn well, two, you, things. Chipex, two things chipex uh simplex segwayed it and you you stepped on it i know but i want to talk about zom 100 though because i wanted to make sure they knew like they knew that we didn't hate it on purpose that we just didn't have time we're recording this on sundays i just want them to know because we like Zom. Yeah. we'll talk about it next week they didn't know they might have known did you know do they know but yeah, so hey, leave a comment it. down below telling us that if you know or not. If you know, you know. But um, so One Piece, right? Very important week for One Piece coming up. Mo, I there's insane echo coming out. I don't know why you're telling me. Okay. I don't know why you're telling me. <laughs> I know you know you know I don't know anything about One Piece. The most One Piece I've seen is the five minutes you guys. I said me. there was an echo coming out. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh. But uh, so. Right, we got a pretty hype end of the episode last week where the drums of liberation started beating, you know, and Gear 5th is coming out next week, August 6th, and I'm going to talk about it on the podcast next week as I'm talking about it. Mace, you going to watch it? Of course. How can I miss Gear 5th? So Chip, are you going to watch it? Yeah, I'll be hating. I'll be yeah. here watching. Mo, are you going to watch it with us too? Uh, I, I guess. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I no, the, I yeah, the put. correct answer is yes. I guess I'll watch that shit. <laughs> yeah, you'll be watching. He made us watch Boruto. But, um, oh, God. I'm sorry. Yeah, he made us watch an episode once. It was crazy. He made, no, no, he, we were, I never made you guys watch no Boruto. Yes, he did. We were, in call, we were in call waiting to play games or record a video. And you said, hold up, I have a little bit more on this Boruto episode. And you turned on your screen and put on <laughs> Boruto and we watched part of it. This happened. That could have happened. This definitely happened. <laughs> I'm curious but, to fuck. Boruto might be better than One Piece. Whoa, on, whoa, talk whoa. About it. Let's talk that's, about it. At least insane. the first hundred. We need to, we need, we need to start a conversation. Boruto are we better don't... than the last hundred episodes of One Piece. Tell them. That's probably not true. That's probably not true. It's probably yeah, not true at all. At all. Like, at all. Uh, as, as much of a hater as I am, it's probably Wano, not true. Wano <laughs> is there, Wano's really yeah. That's one was pretty good. It's yep. pretty good. We've been here a while, but one was really good. Like this is like some of the best the anime's been in a minute. Oh, that's it's pretty realistic. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like, just straight hating. Just, just gonna, doesn't even take know what a, he's talking I'm about. I'm gonna take off my hate glasses for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chimp, I don't know what, I honestly, I literally don't know what I'm talking about though, because I haven't seen it. I feel like you would like it more, like in terms of like this One Piece is kind of like what you like in story, like based on what you like, everything you liked, everything you've seen, and what you actually enjoyed. I feel like you would. I just think that obviously the thousand plus episodes is really intimidating for you, and you're a bitch. It's not so you're not yeah. Hey, yo. I'm knocking them episodes out right now. Are you kidding me? I'll do it. Watch watch every episode of One Piece. It'll take you no, about oh, oh, uh, three months. It'll take, about take about you month. three months. It could take him a month. It could take him a month. Yeah, yeah, but he's not going to finish it. Actually, no, it can't take him a month. We have jobs and stuff now. Before it could take you. Finish, if I sat there and I wanted to, I could finish One Piece in 24 hours. That's that's actually it, impossible. It's impossible. I did the math hours. once. It takes like four days of nonstop watching for you to finish One Piece. It takes more than four days of nonstop watch. Yeah, what you didn't factor in is I have five screens in my house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we didn't factor watching. in how Joey used to watch when we were like watching up anime a couple seasons ago. Yeah, that's Joey would do the same. That was the too. greatest thing. I literally yeah. did. I literally watched three animes at once sometimes, guys, because that was because when we were doing CMP podcast back then, we were watching like 10 anime a week for the first time. It was hard, right? It was very hard. I mean, you could also just watch one second of One Piece of every episode and probably be done within like a couple of minutes. Okay, I, I read the math. It's 16 and a half days. Yeah, I'm just saying, dude, if you watch 70, you can watch basically 72 episodes in one day, give or take maybe 10. I right? mean, let's... If, if you can... watch for the entire day, <laughs> like <laughs> all day and night, 72 episodes, right? And, and you divide that by what, 1,072? 1070, yeah. Oh, I, I just said 1000. It would have been like 17 days now. Yeah. We could just like, we could just watch the live action and catch up from there. We will uh, be watching the live action. Uh, let's do what I did with Dragon Ball and just like play the games and have it just play through the entire story. That's pretty good for One Piece. Mm. You don't get the emotional stuff, but you get most of it. I think Pirate Warriors does a good job of most of it. 
I've never actually played it, but I remember people saying stuff like that. Fair. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll have to I'll have to I'll check in on that. Anyways, I don't really I don't really mess with the drums of liberation. I'm excited about it. Oh, that's right. The drums. Talk about tell us about the drums. How many years has it been since we last heard the drums? I want to say Five six. Minutes. Probably six. Seven. 800 years 800 years is the actual thing that he said the drums of liberation by the way not drums 730 738 1730 no 800 800 might be right you guys are so you guys had so much energy for the drums before the call tell what happened well, you said Boruto is better. And I'm like, yeah, that, that, your, your, your bad opinion, yeah, uh, like your extremely on. bad opinion actually turned me off come like, on. so much. Yeah. But again, I will say that I thought the, the ending of this episode was extremely hype, right? The drums, the beating, Luffy, uh, uh, the, the, his body starting to change, his devil fruit awakening. And then you see uh, the smiles smile, at the end. The smile, yeah. the music was like, dum, 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 dum. It, was, Mo, it was great. He, it got me Luffy, so hype. Luffy's going through puberty right now, Moet. No, that was Mo and Nosuke. His body's changing. He doesn't know what's going on. Nami's Nami has feelings for Luffy that she almost got her killed. She should have gotten killed, but uh, what's his name? Marco? Come on, yep. Marco. Yeah, Marco. Pineapple. Come on, Marco. Come on, Marco. What? You want her to die legit? Yeah. What? Not? No, you can't do that to Nami. You know what Listen. I recently watched, by the way? Mm. Let's around and find out. What? what? One Piece Stampede. I didn't watch it yet. I uh, I actually, I actually might have watched it actually. It was one of my lesser favorite movies. I will say that, even though it's like semi canon or whatever, it's one of my lesser favorite movies. Is that uh the Rock Sparts? Yes. Or is that a different one? Okay. Oh, the Rocks. I I don't think I actually watched the Impede. The one movie I, I didn't watch. Like I like I like I like Z and Gold and all the other ones in Red better than Stan. Which is which is the one where they were wearing suits. Uh, that that's was strong gold. world. That's one of the that's strong world. That's okay. one of the best ones ever. Okay, I watched that one. Strong world is go. Also, I think that's also kind of like, uh, what's it called? Oh, are you uh, talking cannon? about one like cannon? when they're like all dressed up as like official pirates, or like when they're actually wearing suits? When they're actually wearing suits, isn't that gold when they go to the casino? Oh, if, if you want, if you're talking about that, yes. But I thought he was talking about the other. But strong world was cool. Like you got to see Sanji with pistols and like. That's all I remember. If Sanji you talk about pistols. the live action real quick, Sanji just looks like a bad cosplayer to me. Yeah. Bro doesn't even cover his eyes 99% of the time. I can't, yeah. I can't fuck with this Sanji. Sorry. Yep. Even though Sanji's his favorite, which... I guess I guess that like it could go either way. Like If he's your favorite, like you can cut him some slack. Or because he's your favorite, you're extra on him. Yeah, you want uh, to be. Yeah. You to be I'm rarely. Really, I don't know if you guys know this, but like you know, you can do like 99. percent Like I like the Death Note Note movie a lot, but that's just because I turned off my brain and I just forgot that that was like Yagami. What was what was his name? Like Turner. Timmy Turner. Yeah. Yeah, Timmy Turner. Yeah. Talking about designer. No, no, <laughs> the main character. Oh. They like changed I... his name from Yagami to Turner. Wow, I did not watch the live action one. Thank God I didn't. That would have pissed me off the entire time. <laughs> no, no, you it kidding? helped me because then I was just like, okay, he's not like Yagami. He's not a smart ass. He, or not a smart ass, but like a smart person. That's the fair. Idiot high schooler, which he was. That's fair. Oh, we uh, we got news on Black Clover recently from, I think, a leak. Um, that Or I don't even leak. I think it was just a tweet that was translated. But basically, uh, because the Netflix movie went so well, the new mm-hmm. season's like confirmed. Netflix movie went so well. What what Netflix movie? The Netflix Swords, Rainbow Sword, whatever the hell it's called. For did you you didn't watch it? No. For Black Clover, yeah. There's there's a Black Clover movie on Netflix. Sword of the Wizard King. Yeah. Oh, Sword Sword of the Wizard King. King. Okay. I didn't watch it, but I heard. Yeah. So because it it went because it went well, uh, that'll be. uh, So we have a new. We'll probably have a new season. Black Clover. Sword of the Wizard King. Is that old? Is that is it? Oh, so this is not. That's 2023, bro. No, I mean, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it it go, it starts in the past and then it goes fast forward. But it, I think it is semi canon. I think it's I think it is canon actually. Let me look. Let me look it up right now. Google will tell me. Sword of the Wizard King canon. 
Although, mm. although Netflix announced that the film isn't canon, this is contradicted by the fact that there are events in the manga that clearly, clearly, that clearly, clearly. tie in with the tie movie. In. Well, that's that happens with One Piece all the time, where they have stuff like the Rocks Pirates and all that, and it uh, doesn't make sense in the timeline, but it makes sense with like what's given with. Yeah, like so the timeline's off. Then. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. There's maybe it ties in, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, Either way, we left off with him. Uh, with uh, Yami getting kidnapped. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Oops. Yeah, Yami Yugi. I don't know if I asked this question before. Who wins in a fight, Gojo or Goku? Oh my God. That's not even a question. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you. Goku. Obviously. No, Gojo. Uh, I think Saitama wins. Goku. Saitama? Yeah. Come on, bro. Saitama's not even in this conversation. I think he'd win, though. I agree. You know who wins? The fans. The fans. That's, That's I think true. none of the fans win, actually. Yeah, I actually think none of them win either. Because then they can't keep tweeting that. But can, he needs, beat, but can he beat there, Goku, though? You know what? There needs to be another universe in Super. Like, another universe fight. and The Tournament of Power, a second one. But a Tournament of Power multiverse. And just have everybody. And make it be canon. Yeah. Have it be have, like, every shonen property that came out, like, after Dragon Ball. Yeah. That was clearly inspired by Dragon Ball. It would be a lot, aka most of them. Yeah, you just have Naruto. You have Bleach. You have One Piece. Oh, also, uh, did you guys see that Zom One Hundred, the real life one, coming out? Four days. No. Is that the movie too? In four I'm days. Be watching that. Is it from Netflix? Netflix. Four days. Is that real life or not real life? Uh, your favorite Erased? anime? Erased. Yeah. Is it my favorite anime? No, maybe not. It's up to go. Why'd you link it? She said 76% match. Oh, it is a film. Uh, Would this like spoil us for the entirety of season one? Uh, it's a yeah. film, yeah. I guess it doesn't yeah. really matter too much. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's watch it anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter, New Year's spread. Mm, let them know, Chief. Let them know. But what's this, what's this deal with um, Netflix and like Netflix has Zom 100 too? Yeah, Zom yeah. 100 is on a lot of things. Oh, what, is the anime or the, the movie? Anime. The anime. Oh, I didn't know that. I also haven't touched Netflix in like three years. Uh, apparently, Netflix it's on YouTube. A lot of anime. Apparently, it's on YouTube for uh, a lot of Asian countries. That's oh. fire. So, so basically, by using NordVPN. Mm hmm. You can watch it as well. Make sure you use the code CMP. I actually, have, I actually have a sponsor coming soon. You can use mine oh, as well. Code? Don't know the code yet. Joey said you can use mine as well. Like, <laughs> <laughs> NordVPN.com. <laughs> yeah, it'll be NordVPN.com. Oh NordVPN.com slash PogamD. You'll be out. Don't you dare worry. I'm over here plugging a fake code. <laughs> Joey got a real one. <laughs> 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 that's how you get a virus Joey has or something. a real one but he said you can you can use mine as well like in <laughs> in addition to just in case <laughs> just in case ours does go through yeah JJK is a 10 out of 10 by the way uh, yeah yeah it's like JK a 10 out of 10 uh, nine. For 100 next week uh, oh yeah we have to watch there's gonna be two zombs right four and five yeah four and nah. five. why would it be oh because next oh, Sunday we'll next it's week. gonna be normal is it gonna be normal again yeah, yeah, I think so. I it think there's only a one day, I think. All right. Is that it for today? We're done? Yeah. yeah. Hope yeah. y'all enjoyed. Thank you everybody for watching this. We'll see you on the next episode of the CFP Podcast. Let me know down below what y'all think. Peace. Peace.